Good morning, fifth graders. Um, welcome to your second day of online learning with the Chromebooks. I hope yesterday didn't have too many technical difficulties. Lincoln's having a snack next to me, so sorry if he's a little chatty. Um, let's look at what you are going to work on today. You've already covered most of the units of measure for uh, weight, mass, length, volume, all with the metric and customary systems. Today and tomorrow, you're going to go over the units of measure for time. So your activity for today is in Google Classroom to complete with a video of the practice problems. I did have a question about showing your work. You're welcome to do your work on a separate piece of paper. If you want to send me a picture of it, that would be okay. If you don't want to send a picture um, and you just want to do your work on a paper, that's fine. I'm looking for this and if I have further questions, I'll talk to you about it. Um, but there are some example problems in the video if you need additional help. in. Writing, you have your directed journal. You only have three more responses in this one. But like I said before, you're welcome to continue to use this as a platform if you want a journal. You just um, can add other pages. So today is day seven. Do, 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 do. So now we're talking about what your daily routine is like. What time do you wake up? What do you enjoy for time to pray or exercise or games um, or some downtime? Kind of thinking about in 10 years when you're not going to remember what you did every day, um, talking about what your daily routine is. And remember, this is five complete sentences of fifth grade capabilities, not something simple, something that has um, great spelling and grammar. And also make sure that you know that you can scroll down to the next page <laughs> for the next prompt. For social studies, we are working on state and local power. And this one took me a little bit of maneuvering to figure out how to make it so you guys can access it. But here is the reading. Um, you're welcome to check that out here. And then for the word search is in Google Drawings. And I made the text boxes blue that you can type into, as well as there's a word search here. It's also in your packet. Um, it is kind of small, so. Really weird knocking from my neighbor below. Um, if you are working on the word search, um, you can go over here to the line tool, and every time you see a word, you can draw a line to it. Like this one is constitution just like that, um, so that you can find all the words. The words that you find here are the answers that you can type into these blue boxes. All right, let's get rid of the line for you. And I do go over those directions specifically in this little video. <laughs> in science, you're going to be working on some workbook pages in your workbook. I do have the workbook here for you to view, but you should be filling it out in your workbook. Um, because I'm not going to collect the workbook pages anymore, I would like you to do this short little quiz, which is a question from your workbook pages. Uh, Hound Dog True is done. Congratulations, you read a book. Now we're going to be working on um, a book report, and I'm not going to go too detailed into the book report because I do have a video that goes through everything, but it's basically a Google Slides. And you're going to click through the pages and follow the directions um, so that you are able to fill it out. Um, I didn't necessarily assign pages per day. I guess I can add that so it's a little bit more simplified. You only have these three days to work on it. So I'll put that into Google Classroom so you know which slides to work on which day. Um, I do have a 13 minute video here as to what I am expecting you to do on each slide. It goes through pretty detailed. Um, and then there's also this rubric, which I don't know if, what access you guys have to see it because obviously mine's a teacher's view, but it talks about what each description, um, which section, what the description is and the points assigned to it. So you guys can check out the rubric as you go along too to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to. 
For um, religion, I have Stations of the Cross again, or the Rosary to complete. For spelling, you have a packet to complete digitally. You have some online games you can do as an activity or the spelling list. Like I said yesterday, I have three activities built in to this packet. However, if you would like to do an activity yourself um, that's not here, you can add another page to this packet and complete a different activity. That's completely your choice. Um, if you found one last week that you liked, that would be a good idea. And then for commas, this is in the, the grammar page again. Um, so you'll go to Quill and you'll log in with Google and you'll try to finish all of the comma lessons by um, Thursday before the end of the week. Um, I'm praying this is going okay. Nobody's asked me questions about it so far today, so we're going to go with it that it is working. Um, but that will be your grammar for today. And then remember, you do have quizzes and Kahoot that you can do with your siblings. I've got links there for both of those. Um, and if the packet's too small or the order, like I said yesterday, the uh, packet folds in half and is like a magazine if you're struggling for the order. Um, but if that is not what you are interested in, the whole packet is here as well um, in parent resources for you to view. Um, I think that is everything except one last thing. Um, we do have a Flipgrid morning message for the nursing home um, that you should be checking out. I'm not going to open it up through Google Classroom right now because the password's posted and I don't want that to be on YouTube right now, but um, you should be going through Google Classroom to do that video by the end of the day today, and I'm going to be sharing it with our um, with the activities director, Rob, for sharing it on to the residents and they can respond. Remember though, it is a would you rather question, but I do want you to send some type of message to the nursing home residents. So what is something that you can share that's positive to them? Can you ask them about their day? Can you say hello? Can you say hello in a fun way? What is some way to make them smile because they're not allowed to have visitors right now? The only people they are seeing are the workers um, who are graciously going there. So that is everything I wanted to tell you today. Again, if there's technical issues, I am trying to watch Google Classroom and my email really closely to help out and get um, there quickly. But if I'm taking a little bit, it might be because I'm working with my little Lincoln man over here. Um, but I'm trying my best to make sure I'm staying on top of it. If there's any questions, feel free to send me an email, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. See you later.